But what exactly does the key unlock? Well, it opens the door to a chamber between this world and the next. A chamber from which one can only be released by someone pure in heart. Well, does this person come back to this world? No, according to this, he then moves onward to the next room, or closer to divine peace, tranquility with himself. Who last had the key? Well, it's been missing for generations, but there was a Yugoslav monk had it in the 16th century. Ah, and then there was a, an Indian girl in the 18th, and a Chinese Mandarin, and there's been no one else since. I see. So this key really transcends all kinds of boundaries of time and place. It only knows the boundaries of the human heart, of human purity. Raxel says it holds great dangers, is that true? Well, I... It could be harmful if held by the wrong person. Yes, but who would be the right person? Look. The key of promise finds the one for who it is searching. So it seeks out him without our help. But it might not be a man. It could be a woman or a girl. Yes, but it seeks out this person, doesn't it? Yes, it always has, eventually. I see. Well, how does this person know how to use the key? Apparently, the last person who had it passes on the information to the next. Why has it come here? Oh, excuse me. Oh, Jean-Paul. I haven't seen you since that uh, unfortunate day when your wedding plans were cancelled so abruptly. Irene, I'm really rather busy right now, if you don't mind. Well, I did want to offer my condolences for the death of your good man, Quito. I was distressed when I heard about it from Laszlo. Thank you. And lastly, I wanted to find out how Emily was. She was feeling rather poorly, and uh, I feel she's my patient, in a manner of speaking. Emily is resting in the drawing room. Couldn't I just peek in and say hello. I do feel responsible for her. She's like a younger sister to me. I'm afraid I must insist that you don't. Well, then, uh, I'll just stop by another day. Yes, why don't you do that? Thank you. wise for you to be here so often, Mrs. Hatter. People will gossip. Well, everyone knows I'm an old friend of the family. They're used to my going in and out of this house. And do they know that you're especially close to one member of this family? What are you hinting at? Well, I'm just wondering what would happen if I told my mother that I had seen you and my stepfather in what people might call a compromising situation. Have you wondered what would happen if I told Jean-Paul about your little plans for him? Go ahead, tell him. How long do you think you'd be allowed to stay here, and perhaps your mother for that matter? And uh, perhaps even my stepfather. Yes, I thought that prospect might uh, make you cooperate. What do you want from me? I want you to use your gentle arts of persuasion to convince Laszlo that the key he now has would be put to more use in my possession. I couldn't do that. I think you could. Why should I? Secrets like everything else are purchased. My price is not as high as it might be, or as high as it will be if you do not comply with my wishes. Irene, what are you doing here? Good day, Mrs. Hatter. Remember our little secret, will you? Every time I've seen that boy today, he's been with you. I just happened to run into him. What are you two plotting together? We must speak together privately. I can't leave the house. He threatens to expose us to your wife. He always threatens. He wants the key. Did he say that? It's the price he demands for secrecy. 
It's a price I refuse to pay. Don't trust him, Laszlo. You go home. You shouldn't have come here. I'll take care of court. John Paul wouldn't let me in to see Emily. I'll deal with them, too. Fate has given me a weapon that I can use to deal with all of them. Well, it's all right now. She's leaving, finally. Perhaps I should have seen her. She was very kind to me. She nursed me back to health. Well, she'll return. Don't uh, worry about that. Now, we haven't much time. Let's get down to business. Why would Quito give the key to Laszlo if he was supposed to give it to someone who was pure in heart? Well, it will leave him. It will find the person that it's meant for. Perhaps it's meant for you. No. I thought at one time perhaps it was, but I'm not pure in heart. I think you are. <laughs> well, I wish that was true. I was once before Maljardin. Before Maljardin, life was innocent and carefree. Well, then, if it's not meant for you, I shall help you make sure that it gets to the person that it is meant for. Emily, we've got to make sure that this key does not get into the wrong hands. been expecting you. Good. Well, there's no use wasting time on preliminaries. You will stop threatening, Mrs. Hatter. I wasn't threatening her. I warned her. You made a bargain with me. I made a bargain with you not to tell anyone else about the key. You told Mrs. Hatter. So did you. Nevertheless, you broke your bargain. But you broke it, too. How did I break it? You promised me that I could have the key and its powers. That was not part of the bargain. That's what I understood. I want the key. Well, you're not going to get it. You've had long enough. Our bargain had nothing to do with sharing the key. It's mine. You'll have to give it to me eventually. Why? Why would I give it to you? Because if you don't, I'll take it. The key protected me from the serpent. What have I got to fear from a boy like you? You'll see what you have to fear, dear stepfather. You? Oh, no, uh, not at all. I waited till Jean-Paul had gone to his room before I came to talk to you. Oh, I'm glad you came. I was getting tired. So you found the book? Uh, yes, I have. Why didn't you bring it to me? I didn't know where you were. What does it say about the key? Oh, just a little bit here and there, nothing of any real help. Anything will help. What have we found? Well, just a minute. Oh, here it is. It's been missing for many generations. 
And at one time, it was sought throughout the world, like the Holy Grail. How long has it been in the possession of the Desmonds? It doesn't belong to the Desmonds. It belongs to the pure in heart, whoever they may be. Well, how do you explain it being in my keeping? It can be in anyone's keeping. But it works good only for those who are pure in heart. It leads them to tranquility. If that's true. I hardly qualify. It wouldn't be here at all if someone weren't qualified to receive it. Someone here at Desmond Hall. The key is trying to reach the next person that it's meant for. Oh, look. The writing in the fireplace. 